A small church in the heart of San Juan, Puerto Rico, has reported the appearance of thousands of gemstones in its sanctuary. Where are these stones coming from? Are they real? And why are they appearing at all? As remarkable as these events may sound, the story hasn't been featured in any significant news coverage. And indeed, aside from a few Christian media outlets, no one seems to be giving these incredible events any notice at all. The pastor of this church is Dennis Rojas, a man with a rather eventful background. When I was 16 years old, I received Christ as my personal and exclusive Savior. I lived 12 years as a homosexual. I was a professional transvestite. But today I would like to thank God for the liberation and the transformation that He has done in my life through this 32 years that I have served the Lord. One of the reasons Pastor Dennis believes these chims are supernaturally appearing is that this church has dedicated itself to the focused worship and praise of God. These gems began appearing three years ago when Dennis became the pastor of the House of Restoration and Mercy. In this three years, we have had supernatural experiences, manifestations like the oil from the Holy Unction, manifestations of gold, silver, sapphires, topaz, emerald, rubies. God has sent the angel of precious stones and we have had manifestations of diamonds. This is really something, you know, it's really a blessing and we're really, it's uh, amazing. I mean, we're, we're amazed all the time. Pastor, he, he always feels like, you know, he's like a, a kid. Yeah, he comes out, oh, the angel's in there, the angel's in there. This church has grown with physical healings, supernatural healings, creative miracles in the middle of the congregation. And all of this God has done to glorify His name, to establish His name on earth, and to tell a lot of people from different places, nations, that our God is real and true, and that the time of miracles has not passed. The Bible says that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. And this I believe. The first supernatural occurrence in the House of Restoration was the mysterious appearance of oil on the walls and the ceiling of the church. A few months later, oil began to inexplicably saturate and pour out of the Bible on the lectern. Uh, the oil was manifested on the Bible. With the, with the uh, uh, smell of rose. significa la 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 fragancia del perfume de del maestro. Entonces se detuvo por dos dos tres semanas. Después comenzó a botar este aceite. Y entonces también comenzó a impulsar esta cosa blanca que ve aquí, eso es le, el nácar de la perla. Eso significa la, la, la preparación, el, el proceso de la preparación del ministerio. Entonces se detuvo como por un mes sin botar aceite. Entonces Dios nos dijo por un profeta en Panamá que venía un aceite con una fragancia nueva y con un propósito. O sea que ese aceite era para la sanidad. Entonces come, comenzó a botar aceite con olor, a, a, con olor y aroma a, a mirra, que significa el sufrimiento y el padecimiento del ministerio. Y eso es lo que ha estado manando hasta ahora. A few months later, the church was in a prayer meeting, interceding for the city. Son that diamond felt uh, on the back of Pastor Wilda's wife. Uh, 
she took it and went into the bathroom, women's bathroom. Y prendió la luz. And she turned on the light. Y cuando abrió la mano. And when she opened her hand. El diamante, el dia era un diamante. It was a diamond. Y ella comenzó a llorar y a llorar. And she started llorar. crying and crying and crying. Y a gritar. And to shout. Y así comenzó la manifestación de los diamantes. Fueron cayendo uno, dos, cinco, siete, diez, once, doce, treinta y cinco, cincuenta, cien. Eso es de, de, de acuerdo a la adoración del pueblo. Y le cayó en la cabeza el blanco. Lo cayó en el Look at the size of that stone. That it, uh, according to the experts on diamonds that have seen, have, have told Pastor Dennis that the quality of the rocks depends on the cut, on the on the light, on la luz y que más, and, and, and the transparency. Uh, have many jewelers or experts looked at these? Sí, por lo menos yes. el, el grande, esta the grande. big ones the expert jewelers have seen, Se them, yes. Yes. and they took them to analyze them. Dice que el corte no le pueden dar precio porque el... El, el corte está perfecto they say they que el material no es de la tierra buscó con una pluma así looked, uh, que, tiene, que tiene una pantallita de cristal yeah. y lo, lo, lo puso así y empezó a pitar ti, 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 ti. So, marcó 11.5 y le, entonces me preguntó que de dónde yo lo había sacado porque ese pote porcentaje de diamante no lo hay en la tierra. In the book of Exodus, the Bible tells us that the high priest wore breastplates adorned with 12 precious stones. Uh, look at those. Those are the ones. And yes, those are the ones that fell around August just before yeah. Well, those are just exactly like the the 12, the 12 stones of the Ephod, the tribes of Israel. That, okay, that is uh, diamond dust. All right. It's one angel. Yes. Mide, mide. And he says it's, uh, he's a siete, tall, siete, ocho, almost mide. seven or eight feet tall. Okay, okay you have to look, look at the oil on the carpet, all right? Mm -hmm. The carpet is was wet. So when the angel came in, that those impressions, you know, like were imprinted in the carpet. The pages of the Bible are always found to be turned to the last chapter of Psalms and the beginning of Proverbs. This church believes God will continue to send these miracles in ever-increasing glory. Pastor Dennis says that he has been promised a ruby the size of a golf ball. As these stones continue to fall and the oil continues to pour, it is as if God is revealing a glimpse of his glory to this church in Puerto Rico. He is revealing himself as a supernatural God. And will the world open its eyes to see this?